Let's get this in. Southwest Florida, welcome back to Lee Piz Live. We are here covering the African network of Southwest Florida's gala. We got good sound, and we have a great opportunity here to talk to an individual who's looking to make a difference here in Southwest Florida. The African Network of Southwest Florida's gala has moved on to the presentation of the keynote speaker. We want to give a big shout out to Martin Bird, who has been handling all of the technical aspects of this production, and we're getting it on air. We got David Holden here. He's a candidate for the district. A d Democrat for Congress, and let's get to meet him. His territory is coastal Naples and Lee County, running for the U.S. Congress. Welcome to Lee Piss Live. Thank you, Lee. It's great to be here. It's good to get you here. Um, why did you decide to run for U.S. Congress? Well, <clears throat> my wife and I moved down here full time after coming here for a decade because we loved it here, and my wife's parents were here. And we just felt after the election in 2016 that we needed to get more involved. Uh, we feel there are problems in this country that are not getting addressed, problems of health care, environment, infrastructure, jobs, and housing for young people uh, that aren't being discussed and addressed in a way that, that's getting results. So we decided to get involved, and we started last January. We've been going up and down and across the district, meeting folks, listening, uh, and getting a sense of what representation people really need in Washington. And as you've been moving across the district, meeting people and shaking hands and kissing babies, get prepared for 2018, correct? That's right. You have found yourself here at the African Network of Southwest Florida's annual gala. How are you enjoying yourself so far? And what has inspired you so far from being here at this gala? Well, it's, it's an incredible evening, Lee. As you know, the energy, uh, the diversity of the people in this room from all walks of life and all countries from around the world, it's just in incredibly energizing. Uh, I had the, the privilege of attending an international school 2008-2009 um, where I got to meet people and really spend a year and more getting to know folks from all over the world, a number of students from Africa who are now brothers and sisters of ours. So this is, being here is a, it's a labor of love for us. It's part of a community that we feel connected to. And you know, the reality is if you go back far enough, we're all from Africa. That is true. Now the diversity of our country is on full display right here. And the fact that you are running for U.S. Congress, uh, we are hoping that you will be taking your um, knowledge of diversity, your commitment to diversity to you, to, to Congress. Your thoughts? Well, I think that's exactly right, Lee. I think one of the things that we want to pay more attention to is the richness of diversity, what it brings to our community, uh, not just culturally, but economically. When you, when you have a community that's made up of people from all over the world, they bring abilities, they bring experience uh, that is invaluable. And it really adds to the economic ability of a community to thrive. Many people right now who watch our show are getting to see you for the first time. Uh, now they are hearing the name uh, candidate for Congress holder. What are some key things you want them to know when they see your name and hear your name? Well, I hope they'll find out that I'm doing this out of a sense of service to the community, that I want to help lead a conversation, facilitate a conversation uh, for everybody. So I want to represent everybody in the district, Democrats, Republicans, independents. I think the problems that we really face aren't about partisan politics. They're about getting folks in a room, talking about the issues where we disagree, and finding the common ground where we can work together. What in your background has prepared you for the job? So I've been involved uh, in the community from a very young age. My parents were both very involved in the civil rights movement. I grew up in New York. 
Uh, they stood up for uh, the country when they when they stood stood up against the Vietnam War, and that was, I think, a difficult thing for my father, who was an infantry veteran in World War II. But he felt like we were on the wrong track. So I grew up in that. That's what I swam around in that kind of caring about others. Uh, so that I think prepared me. I have been involved in a number of community organizations. Uh, I've had some training and practice in leadership. I had the chance to attend the Kennedy School of Government at Harvard University in 2008, uh, which is where I met these wonderful friends and colleagues from around the world. And I think that experience, my life experience, prepares me to do this job. Now you say, right, you say your main occupation is you in the area of finance. That's right. My wife and I, my wife Streeter and I are business partners. We have a financial planning practice, which I also think is, is a good thing we to have. Uh, we work with families who are just trying to save money to educate their children, to have a decent uh, and secure retirement, and to leave something for their families. What do you have to say to those people who say that Southwest Florida, Collier County, Lee County has a strong Republican hold on it? So the Republicans just seem to dominate the area. Do, are we seeing some opportunity for breakthrough for Democrats? If I didn't feel that way, Lee, I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> if uh, I didn't ask that question, I wouldn't be doing my job. <laughs> Up until then, my family had met. But I think that I think the facts on the ground have changed a little bit, uh, even without really strong Democratic opposition. Um, the Democrats got 35 percent of the vote last year in this race, so that's where we start. So we don't need to pick up 20 points. We need less than that. And I think in the conversations I've had. People have, don't feel that they're being well represented and they want to change. Okay. Well, Congressman, it's been great getting you to stop by here. Uh, we have a keynote speaker up there. Seems like I'm getting a little signals that we need to wrap it up. We Lee, thank you so much. I said, uh, con candidate for Congress. I called you a Congressman and we'll be in touch for some more uh, opportunities. Thank you, Lee. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.